guys welcome back to run pet bath and beauty today we are i'm gonna move you guys just a little bit i think hold on i'm sorry there we go we are going to make embeds and we are making limes uh, for our margaritaville soap amanda my niece and a co-owner say hi amanda hi guys i was in another video hopefully you guys remember me yeah policy of truth we made together but we're going to make lime wedges with the soap dough that we made so let's see i gotta figure out a better angle for you guys you know what hold on let me get you a better angle sorry about that all right we're gonna make lime wedges um, with our soap dough. So the first thing that I need is to dust my counter with some, ooh, there, there was a dusting, <laughs> with some cornstarch. And I alcoholed um, my work surface beforehand. I always do before I make a soap, after I make a soap. In between I'm making soaps <laughs> so I'm gonna roll this out into a log I'm gonna try to keep this even on the sides oh, maybe we might need all of it I don't know yeah I think that's enough I think that's thick enough for a lime wedge oh yeah okay all right so I'm gonna put this to the side I'm gonna spray it down with some alcohol off camera here and set it on its cellophane now the next color we're gonna need is white Now, if you remember, I said that white is usually, yeah, we probably we might need just a little bit more than that. Um, white is usually, when you make it with water dispersible titanium dioxide, that it's usually um, more, it's more, it's, it's softer than the rest of your soap dough. It's really cold today down in this basement. So it is not today. <laughs> this is my box o tools. So I need to get a rolling pin out of there. Sorry guys, in case you haven't noticed, we're kind of noisy. Yeah, we are. But that's all right. And messy. And if messy. you're not, you're not making soap right if you're not making a mess. At least that's what I always say. So what I'm doing off camera right now is I'm just squeezing it all down, getting all the lumps and clumps and bumps out of here so it's super soft and smooth. Yeah. Because like my aunt said, it's cold down here, so it's kind of hard. Yep. And we're going to roll this out. We are certainly not prepared today. I think we're prepared, but that's just my <laughs> I need to get some distilled water from under my counter here because we're going to have to use distilled water to attach these all together. I forgot to grab that before we started shooting. Okay, so we're going to take and pat that down and we're going to roll this out very thin because this is going to be the layer in between the lime innards and its skin. Guys, my idea was to use a mold. <laughs> my hand's just kind of being a little extra right now. Yeah, I'm being extra. We made this, uh, Margaritaville sold for us 
super, super, super well last year. And, and fast. Yes, and fast. Um, it is scented in, as you can imagine, lime margarita. And it was one of our summer solstice soaps for last year, so we have decided to repeat it for this year. And it's, it's absolutely fantastic. So it definitely smells like a lime margarita. It even sold in body butter over the winter. I think people just wanted paradise back. Yeah, I think they just wanted paradise back too. And that's kind of how people are feeling right now because we have that whole COVID-19 going on. Yep. We're currently in stay at home quarantine right now for a shelter in place. Yeah. So what better thing to do than make soap? Exactly. All right, so I am going to, with water, get my little soap roll wet just a little bit so my white will stick. Got to find my, uh, and my knife. Where did I put my knife? There. Oh, that'll work. My, uh, okay. Well, it looks like we're going to have to do some patchwork, Amanda. I'm going to spread this out and do some patchwork. So we're going to get our fingers wet. It's kind of like working with fondant, if you've ever worked with fondant. But like yes making a cake or anything like that yep that's exactly you know or polymer clay even but um, now if you just rinse off your hands you got a bunch of soap already there right <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right i just had to wash my hands because i rolled out the green and the white and i was just feeling a little sudsy yep so all i'm doing is getting this to to stick together there we need, I just need a little piece right here. Right here. And then we can also roll it on the table again to get it to stick. That side's fine. Let me cut this off so I can cover that side. A little bit of water. Oh, this will work. Look at that. Meant to be. Meant to be. And this doesn't have to be perfect because I'm putting the outer layer of the lime on there. So, let me get this off of here. And we might have to um, let this rest before we can cut it. I'm not sure yet. All right, let's get rid of this green and this white out of here. And I'm going to roll out some dark green. I think I'm going to edit some of this boring stuff out. <laughs> so... But I wanted you guys to see how these, oh geez, this is hard. I wanted you to see how, here you take half and I'll take half. I wanted you to see how these were made or how I made these. And I'm going to be making peach slices too for, uh, not today, but for. Um, She's lying, we are making it today. <laughs> Well, it depends on how long it takes us to finish Margaritaville. But, um... We're going to make peach 
Georgia went down to you know midnight train to yeah, Georgia. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Man it went is, down to Georgia. <laughs> it is peach margarita <laughs> scented, and it smells divine. I mean, like absolutely divine. This is one of those scents that, like, I wish I could just put it up to the camera and you guys could smell it. Yeah, we definitely have said it before. We need smell a vision. Okay. She really wasn't kidding about this dark green, though. It's really hard. Yeah. There's not a lot of lumps in it, though. It's just hard. Yeah. That's the one thing. I mean, I my soap room um, is the only, like, it's a quite large storage space or what what would have been a storage space now it is my soap room my curing room um her picture taking room yes all of that stuff um keep all my extra supplies in it and stuff are you having trouble no it's just a little bump oh, okay um that uh see hers is all pretty and mine just looks like, <laughs> like crap <laughs> Because my hands are warmer than yours. Yeah, mine are always Here, cold. Let's see it. Freezing cold. Yeah, my hands are warmer. Ah, oh, it is definitely uh, harder than the the white for sure. But there was no no TD in this color, if you remember. Mm -hmm, that's true. So okay. So let's get this with some, oh, sticking already. Get this with some cornstarch. And you could use like, you know, tapioca powder or, you know, whatever to, instead of cornstarch, if you didn't have cornstarch. Um, but I just prefer it, it's easier. And I always have it on hand. I actually have this little container that I bought specifically to use with soap dough. Um, I usually work with my soap dough upstairs, but my family is up, which includes my little uh, minion grandchildren. And her husband. Yes, and my son-in-law. And It's too much. Yeah, it's too much. So we can't make embeds upstairs. We just need everyone to go back to work and to school. Yes. <laughs> Except for us. Mimi needs time by herself. She means Mimi needs time with Amanda. Yeah, well, you know, I'm always working, but I mean, I'm either working on the computer or, you know, fulfilling orders, doing whatever I need to do. But when it comes to being able to film for you guys, I have to have, you know, my family not home because they're loud. Well, that was great, Sue. Can you get my offset spatula out of there? I have an offset spatula in there somewhere. I think it's in the second. Oh, no. Where's my offset spatula? The answer is no. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to. Well, it totally stuck to the counter. See, and this is the kind of thing that you'll run into with working with soap dough. As you'll go, oh, it's beautifully thin and it's just like I want it. Oh, crap, it's stuck to the counter. Happens to me all the time, obviously. Okay, I have to get some of this cornstarch off of here, otherwise it will never stick to that to that other piece. So let me get some of this cornstarch off of there. See how much cornstarch is on there? Mm -hmm. Paper towel, please. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I gotta get that cornstarch off of there. Yeah, otherwise it's never gonna stick. 
I'm having a problem with not leaning on this stove. Will you not lean on my stove? <laughs> Why, is it comfy? Kind of. I just want to lean back. Oh, by the way, you guys will have to let me know if you like the lighting a little bit better. Or we finally set up the ring light. So we used the ring light upstairs to take pictures. And we were like, hmm, I wonder what our light quality would be like on the videos if we brought it downstairs. Right. And then we bought a little photo box so we didn't have to keep bringing it upstairs, bringing it downstairs. Right. So we hope this video is a little bit brighter. Yeah. We were testing it out before we went on camera with you guys. Yeah. Putting a bunch of different colors underneath the camera. <laughs> <laughs> we were like crazy people. <laughs> but uh, that's what we are. We're crazy people. That's all right. Well, not crazy crazy, just a little crazy. No, she's lying. We're crazy crazy. <laughs> like the whole family, crazy crazy. It's all right. When I moved to South Carolina when I was in the eighth grade, Everybody thought I was crazy because I was from Detroit. Everybody was afraid of me because I was from Detroit. And I'm like, why are you afraid of me? I'm a nice person. <laughs> but back then, Detroit, you know, I mean, that was in the 80s. Detroit and had she quite was the reputation. <laughs> I was not. Detroit had quite the reputation back in the 80s. So everybody was like, oh my God, she's from Detroit. Don't mess with her. Still don't <laughs> mess with her. Well, Still. I'm, you know. I can be extra. Very. Just a little. Just a little. Wow, look at your perfect cutting skills. Almost perfect. You're perfect in my eyes. Oh, thank you, my love. At least you think so. Wow, look at these lines. I'm excited, guys. <laughs> I was not so sure about this when we were starting it. But even you, when you she see told what, me the idea. What, you see what I'm going for, right? Yeah. Yeah. Even when she told me the idea, guys, that was still like we she, have she a mold. Was like, she was like, We have a we have a citrus mold. Why are you doing all this work? You can make limes, oranges, lemons. All right. She just didn't want to do it. I wanted to try it this way. I thought, you know, if I'm gonna keep honing my skills with soap dough, why not try it? She I mean, says this, but I'm like the if we mold fail, extravaganza kind of person. She buys more molds in a in a weekend than I do in a year, and Literally. I thought I bought a lot of molds. We have so many molds. Amanda, like is, if you have a baby shower, we got you. <laughs> if you need an elephant or a lion or a robot or a robot what or are we a dinosaur, what's a, a robot? Who knows? For? We have so many things. A car. Oh you. my gosh, we have so many molds. It is we have a funny. store. We ha at plus we have all those holiday molds. We got snowmen, heads, bodies, yep. feet. Yep. We have we Santa Claus. We have Easter Bunny busts. We have Easter Bunny heads. We have Easter Bunny full bodies. <laughs> <laughs> we have all of them. Like I said, Amanda, Amanda can buy some some molds every holiday. Right, I have to so, go straight to the mold section. Okay, so I'm gonna get the rest of the cornstarch off of this, but we're gonna have to let this dry for a little bit. It's Guys, look still, at how cool. It's still a little, oh, down. It's still a little bit soft for me to be able to cut it. Um, but I'm going to get everything smoothed out and, you know, I don't want to keep you here and bore you to death. So we will be back. So this has dried some. I'm going to use my soap cutter. I'm going to cut um, what's about the size of a lime this way and we will get to that in just a second but for oh but for the loaf mold that uh, the bars that we're doing we're not going to use lime wedges we are going to make lime slices so I am going to cut oh let me grab some wax paper So I'm going to cut 10 lime slices. Actually, we're going to have to cut these in half. Oh Yeah, yeah they're, they're a little big. We're going to have to cut them in half. So I'm going to cut five of them. But for the other thing that we're doing, we just need six wedges. Two. 
Good. Losing my paper towel. One more and then I'm going to wrap up this piece of lime cane so it doesn't dry out. Wrap this up in some saran wrap. That way it is airtight. And we can use it for something else. Okay, so with this, I'm going to cut this in half this way. half again. Actually, let me do it this way. And then in half again. Oh, you know what? I hope if I had my glasses on, I could probably see better. And then one more time. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and bend this just a little bit this way. Hope you can, oh, you can't see me doing that. going to bend it just a little bit this way. So it's bent like a lime wedge. And I'm going to do that with all of them. Okay, and I'm going to do the same with this one. We're going to cut this in half. Okay. Now with these two, four, five, this will be six. Actually, this will be six. Okay. 
Okay, let me get my cutter out of the way here. Here, Amanda, can you take this, please? Oh, I'm going to wipe off my wire and... Play a little song for her. Yeah, play a little song. Okay, I have a toothbrush that is going to be. I'm gonna make the um, like the little dots that have on a on a line. And I am also going to um, make lines to, you know, show the definition on the inside of the line. I think this would be easier to do it with a tool than with a toothbrush. So let me go into my handy dandy thing of tools and use I'm going to use this instead oh that's better that works a lot better I'm going to go ahead and do the rims of the round lines before I cut those in half. Okay. All right. I need my. I have so many different tools. I need this one. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and do these first. So I'm going to take and make my, my lines and my, the different sizes, different lengths, lines in the, the lines, and I'm going to do it on both sides. they don't have to be perfect. I mean, as long as people know what they are, which, you know, it's kind
kind of obvious. At least I think it is. Well, then all you got to do is just smell the soap. <laughs> I know that it's lime margarita. Hope everybody's doing okay today. We're uh, doing good. My niece was dying to make soap, so. Dying. <laughs> she was. She was dying to make soap, so we're gonna get some of these summer solstice soaps done today and out of the way. Well, now we don't have to be pressured or worry about it for the summer. And they'll be done way, you know, before summer is done. We're also making our new goal board. Yes, we're making our, we haven't done it this year. We make a goal board every year for the business. And we keep it down here on a, a door in our soaping kitchen. So it stares us in the face every day. <laughs> yeah, and then when we meet a goal, we circle it and put a little heart on it that we met it. We met a lot of business goals last year, which was nice. Um, and we achieved all of them. Well. But one. Yeah. I mean, we still have the showroom, but I would still like a you know, storefront. That's one of our next big goals um, for either this year or next year is to get an actual storefront because I have a showroom my husband absolutely adores me and my niece is gonna oh. groan because I tell this story to customers that come to see us at local shows my husband loves me enough that he let me turn the whole entire front of my house into a um, before she continues I don't groan because it's not like the truth or anything I groan because I hear it 45 times in an hour when we're at a show, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, please find a new slogan. Well, it's the truth. I mean, he let me turn our entire front living room. We have, we live in a, a pretty nice house, and it's got, you know, we've got a kitchen upstairs, a kitchen down here, you know, I've got a living room and a family room. And we're never in the living room anyway. We always use the family room. And my husband um, let me turn that into a showroom. So our local customers can actually come and they can shop in our showroom. They make appointments. They call us and make appointments. And we see customers on an appointment you know, basis. And it works out great for them. It works out great for us. We also have an option for our local customers on our website where they can pick up their order in the showroom they can order online and then you know if they say pick up in the showroom they make an appointment to come pick it up their orders ready and there you go so it's actually kind of really nice especially for our local customers saves them from having to pay shipping and handling if they live three miles away you know Okay. All right. I'm going to make my little lines in these soaps, in these lime slices um, off camera, and then we'll be getting ready to make our Margaritaville. Be back. <laughs> 